Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey may have some real estate moves in the works. She and her new husband Mike Hill were seen discussing plans to buy another home on the recent season finale of the series and possibly putting her lakefront estate up as an Airbnb. Cynthia purchased her current mansion, also known as Lake Bailey, back in 2016 after her divorce. Her beautiful home is only minutes from downtown Atlanta, yet sits lakefront on a gorgeous secluded property and today we'll be taking a look at it. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Cynthia Bailey is a model, TV personality and actress who was born and raised in Alabama but moved to New York City when she was 18 to pursue modeling. She then signed a contract with Wilhelmina Models and appeared in various magazines and campaigns, even working the runways in Paris and Milan. Cynthia has also acted in a few films back in the 90s and on TV shows like The Cosby Show, but these days she's best known for being on the reality show The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was first introduced on the series in 2010 and her part focused on her former marriage to club owner Peter Thomas and her friendship with Nene Leakes, who we also recently did a house tour on. These days, Cynthia's relationship with sportscaster Mike Hill has been a focus on the show since 2018, and as I mentioned, the newlyweds may even be buying a new home soon. The couple previously had a long distance relationship as Mike was based in LA and Cynthia, of course, lived in Atlanta. While they made it work, it seems they're ready to make some new real estate moves together since they're married, and they discussed some possibilities on the series. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I've been noticing a lot of copycat channels recently but we're the original source for celebrity house tours so be sure to hit that subscribe button and show your support. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to be taking a look at Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey and where she calls home, including her current mansion also called Lake Bailey, her former property and more. If you like this video, be sure to check out our recent house tours on Kenya Moore and Candy Burris which we'll link to at the end, and keep your eye out for some more of their co-stars. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. First, let's take a look at Cynthia's former house. In 2016, since she was separated from her now ex-husband Peter, she had put her Glenwood Park area townhome on the market. Throughout many seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia had shown off the home, such as shots inside the kitchen and more, before she moved on to her current house. According to records, the star purchased the house in 2007, a few years before she married Peter, for 597k. Glenwood Park is a lively urban neighborhood in Atlanta with a mix of tree streets, townhomes, city houses, shops, and more only a couple miles from the downtown center. Cynthia's former townhome was cozy yet upscale, and when it came time to sell, she listed it at just under 700 k The residence was a lot larger than much of the surrounding properties, standing 4,500 square feet inside with four beds and five baths. Within the three levels, there were top-of-the-line finishes and common spaces like a bright kitchen with large Eden Island, KitchenAid appliances, and detached breakfast rooms. There were also smoke gray hardwood floors, two terraces, and a rear deck on the main level that was perfect for entertaining guests. Not to mention the fireside great room and formal dining room with attached outdoor terrace also provided other options to host guests or simply hang out. Elsewhere in Cynthia's former townhome there was a library, a recreation room, and a fully finished basement level. While this townhome was luxurious and spacious, as well as only steps from shops and dining, her current home was definitely an upgrade. In 2016, shortly after selling that townhome, Cynthia purchased her current lakefront estate, also called Lake Bailey, for 960 k Her mansion is only a few minutes from downtown Atlanta, it's right on the water, and feels peaceful and secluded in nature. Her home sits on a nearly 1.5 acre lot, surrounded by trees and greenery for privacy. Fans of The Real Housewives saw the star fall in love with the tranquil lake home on season 9 of the hit series, but Cynthia may have not found the place if it weren't for the show. She was actually planning to downsize her life after her divorce and move her and her daughter to an apartment in the city looking for properties and ready to pack up. But to help her tell her story on air, Real Housewives producers asked her to film a scene in which she toured a bigger house to document her thought process. Bailey said looking back on this time in her life, It's so crazy I went to film it thinking I wouldn't like it and would easily be able to 
write it off. As soon as I walked out on the deck, I was like, oh my God, this is my house. I have to have this house. And so she did. At first, buying the home wasn't easy as someone had already bid on the place, but Cynthia outbid them and came out the winner. Now she calls Lake Bailey her dream home, moving in on the series as well and showing off the finished, furnished home on season 10. It's easy to see why Cynthia is in love with her home as it features massive windows, wood accents, nature and animals surrounding the area, and private access to the lake, like an everyday vacation. The lush backdrop also seems to be perfect for selfies since Cynthia often takes pictures for social media here. Inside her home spans 2,058 square feet of space with 6 beds, 5 baths, and features like a sunroom and finished basement. Outside there's an expansive deck perfect for entertaining or unwinding, and there's also glass rails on the decks to offer unobstructed views. We can see the open, combined main level features a modern kitchen, a stone fireplace, seating area, and glass staircase. Most rooms, including one of the massive family rooms with a brick fireplace, have walls of windows and glass sliders opening to outside, so you can see the beautiful surroundings easily. There are steel beams, natural light, gorgeous hardwood flooring, and more throughout her home. The chef's kitchen features Viking appliances, and most of the estate has a modern open layout. Elsewhere, there is Cynthia's master suite, which listing materials described as to die for, with high ceilings, windows all around, and plenty of space. There's also a private deck furnished with a cozy table and chairs which overlooks the lake, while the ensuite bath is spa style. Another four guest bedrooms and two baths complete the upper level of the home, and there are more balconies throughout, as well as a separate guest or staff suite. Cynthia also has made a beautiful office space at her estate to get some work done, and we've seen it on Instagram. Her chic office has a naughty wood desk that was well organized and some shelving and decor behind her. Outside on the property, there features like an outdoor shower, a large patio, a family mountain and private dock right on the lake. Cynthia has said when describing her home, it just kind of really was right in sync to where I was at mentally and spiritually in my life. I'm sitting in my bedroom now, my artwork is the view of the lake. It's incredible and so peaceful. So now we've taken a look at Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey and where she calls home, so I think I'll wrap up this house tour here. We checked out her current lakefront retreat she calls home as well as her former upscale townhome. And what did you guys think? Which spot was your fave? I'm definitely a fan of her lake home because while the square footage might be a little bit smaller, it's peaceful and beautiful and it's also still close to the city. Talk about best of both worlds. I would love the nature and that lake. Now that she's a newlywed, we'll just have to see if her and her husband Mike Hill will buy another property together like they hinted at on the series. I do think it would be hard for Cynthia to give up her dream home though. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Cynthia's homes down in the comments. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel so we can get to know each other a little better. We'll link you one of my latest videos. On August 20th, 1989, Jose and Kitty Menendez were found dead in the den of their own home. There's a group of TikTokers who are trying to raise awareness to release these brothers from jail who killed their parents named the Menendez brothers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.